So first what you're going to want to do is try to take the Coke can and try to balance it on its edge. And as you let go, you'll soon see that doesn't work because the center of gravity is over the point at where it balances and it'll fall over. So this picture shows the center of gravity of the can at certain points and the red dot represents where um, center of gravity is when the can is full or empty and the blue dot shows what the combined center of gravity of the can plus the water in it is. So now what you do is you fill the can with about um, one third of the way up or about 100 milliliters and just experiment and pour out more or add a little bit more just to see it fill balance. So now that you have the water inside the can, you'll realize that it can stand on its own and it's very stable because the center of gravity is directly above um, that edge. And also, the water has a big role in this because it can flow and it always ends up being level inside the can. That means that when you tip it, and um, the water takes the shape of the can and as the can spins around, the water flows and retains the same shape. You realize that you can't do the same thing with um, say if the can was filled with ice instead because then it, the center of gravity would be off balance and then you spin it. So this is a twist on Mr. Gibbon's um, balancing act where you have the fork and spoon balance on a toothpick on a glass and all you need for this is two toothpicks, two forks, and uh, a pepper shaker. So now, you want to find the center of gravity of the fork first and just try balancing it on your finger and you'll find out that it's um, about right where my finger is pointing, right there. So now what you do is you take the salt shaker and the toothpick and then you stick the toothpick inside um, one of the holes in the salt shaker, preferably one in the middle, it makes it easier that way. And then you take two forks and you wedge the heads together um, in order to uh, make sure they're secure. And then you stick a toothpick in between and now you do a balance test to see if you can balance the tip of the toothpick on your um, finger like that. And then what you do is you transfer the whole thing onto the salt shaker and then you'll see that the toothpick um, contraption balances on the toothpick uh, in a 90 degree angle because the center of gravity of the um, two forks in the toothpick is exactly where that toothpick is standing up directly under it. So as long as you don't shift it too much, it will stay under there and it's pretty stable and you can even twirl it around a little bit. Try balancing a regular quarter on a uh, dollar bill on its flat side and you'll see that it's pretty impossible because the dollar is so thin that uh, such a fat thing couldn't fit on it. Unless you know how to do the right trick. Mm -hmm. So now the other trick to do is you have to fold and crease that dollar bill so that you create this V shape to easier balance to make it easier to balance the coin. And now that, and once you get it balanced like that, slowly open up the dollar bill, and you'll realize that the coin will shift, and it will keep staying there, balanced on that thin little piece of paper because center gravity is exactly where um, it lies in the dollar bill, it's right in the middle of the coin, and it'll stay there unless you try shifting it.